early films with those two immortal zanies, Laurel and Hardy. That's right. And even long uh, today, long after Stan and Ollie are gone, their faithful fans still gather to celebrate their memory. And the story we're going to see now is about those fans and that celebration. And our roving reporter, Bill Rafferty, was there. Skip, are you ready? I think so. Okay. <laughs> you ask any film buff, who was the most popular comedy team of the movies ever? And I know you're going to hear the names Laurel and Hardy. And it's because of that that people have come from literally all over the world to Los Angeles today to pay homage to a couple of guys that they affectionately refer to as the boys. They call themselves the International Order of the Sons of the Desert. The name taken from a fraternal organization, Laurel and Hardy joined in one of their most memorable comedies. We are the sons of the desert, having the time of our lives. Ow. Marching along 2,000 strong, far from our sweethearts and wives. Tramp, tramp. Every year from Chicago, New York, even Great Britain, the sons of the desert come to Hollywood to view their favorite Laurel and Hardy films trade memorabilia, and bask in memories of that magic comic world that once belonged to Stan and Ollie. They transcend the times. Their, their comedy is so sweet and innocent. That lovely little innocent charm, that lovely affection, those characters that everyone loves all over the world that uh, we've just fallen in love with, and uh, they're in our systems, in our bones, and I can't explain it technically. They're just lovely, warm, and fun. All was going well at this year's conclave of the Sons of the Desert until someone made the fatal mistake of reaching for a cream pie. these people have such affection for Laurel and Hardy? One simple word, love. Yeah. Yeah, they can. Stan conveyed love across the screen as Babe did. We love them and we're giving the love back. Once again, old BR slips through as clean as a whistle. Well, that's another night. Nice.